Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of uh, City Skylines with mods. As you can see, our city's doing pretty well. Last episode, we put in these cargo harbors. Uh, they're really being well used. Uh, we also got these circular ferry line going, and people don't mind going up the Pooh River. Um, very well used. Uh, you know, close to 100 on each line this way. And then the other way... I can get the little guy. There we go. As you can see, 115. This one gets up pretty high too. So this one, definitely the more popular circle. But they go both ways, and they're both pretty popular. Uh, the fast ferries make it all possible for the most part. Um, without them, it would never be able to keep up, even remotely. Not only faster, but they pick up 200 people instead of 50. But, you know, looking at my city, I just watched a bit of a video uh, about fixing train lines he did today. And I'm thinking, well, my city has some seriously bad trains. It's just one line down the center of the city. I have zero passenger trains, mostly because the ferry's taking care of everything for the most part. And I like the water feature. And then just one cargo train terminal that's pretty busy, actually. I mean, tons of people use it. And most of the trains I see coming out are, like, at 100% capacity. So... Could potentially use more but i was thinking of putting a big train line maybe around the outside with more connections to it just to see i mean trains are kind of iffy right now um monorails tend to be better cheaper but we'll see how it goes so let's see what do we have for trains we have the regular passenger and the regular cargo we don't have anything fancy I've never made a passenger so I can't put one down okay so if we wanted to fix this poor train line we'll branch it off here maybe have it come across this All right, so I was thinking of just bypassing this area because I do have the cargo harbor right here. But I do believe the cargo harbor is only good for out of the cities. I don't believe you can take it from one cargo harbor to the other to transport stuff within your own city. So considering this has a lot of materials that may be used elsewhere, I was thinking I could put a cargo harbor cargo station down here. Because it's only money, and I got $3 million, right? So, uh, let's try one here. Not too much of an issue. Uh, let's just move the field off that route. Can we get it anywhere? too uh tall there we go what's this just a firehouse hmm we'll put it on the other side of the road at least that way it's not in the way and let's see if we can patch this up so we're going to Connect that. But also bypass it. Just in case they don't want to go in there, they won't get all, you know, cut up. And let's see if this can get this connected. Hey, not too bad. And since I have mods, I can actually make this look a little better. Whoopsie. Didn't want to mess that up too bad. Hmm. Even with mods, I can't seem to fix that. And 
now it won't. There we go. I guess we'll just stick with that. Maybe touch up this one. There we go. Actually got the node that time. All right, so that's the plan. We need water there. No, we're good. Okay, so this will be able to go within the city. This will be a pure cargo run, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Actually, I think we'll have it branch up. So we'll have this continue on. This really doesn't like hills for some reason. Okay, I think we're just going to anarchy it and see what happens. It actually looks fine. I don't know what the whole slope too steep thing was about. Okay, well, I can't figure out how to change the height. I think I have to select one of these. So when I pick it, I pushing page up and it doesn't. There we go. Has to be a node. So if we raise this up a bit. Then we can select that and raise it down a bit. Maybe it'll work out. It's a bumpy ride. All right, so that's one plan. And then we also want one to come off here. Turn off anarchy just in case. And we're going to have like a road. Nothing fancy. Maybe. I was thinking of some bike lanes, but nah. Just a generic road. Okay, we're gonna have to anarchy our road in apparently. All right, so what we're gonna try to do is put a passenger train here so people can get to work. Okay, apparently this has zero roadside connection. Or is it because it's so uneven and I anarchied it in? Let's landscape level. Fresh eyes. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Maybe that'll work. I think we have to redraw the roads. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have to level it a little bit more because we want an in and out hopefully if we can manage that I'm not sure because it's gonna be right into the mountain there we go it's not a lot of parking spaces never realized that much all right so let's see if we can fix this up
Again, we have this awesome ferry system, so it's almost not needed. Whoops. But, you know, just seeing it. Come on. There we go. Don't know why I was stuck on the ground. All right. Now this obviously can't go up that hill. But maybe we can go in the ground. And come back up. And connect up. So we have a nice super loop and we get back on the main pathway. Hopefully that'll work. We'll see how it goes. Um, oh, we probably need water and power over here. Before I forget. Although these sort of things tend to work and run even without power or water. I don't understand it sometimes. Oh wow, it just barely bridges the gap. Okay. Uh, do we need any pathways? I don't think so. They can walk down this super, super steep hill. In fact, there's people currently walking down it. I think. Maybe not. Okay, that car's flying. I can't be just because Anarchy did it in. But okay, let's continue with this train system. So we have, it goes to our farming area. Honestly, I'm not sure where else I want it to go. Because if it comes out here, it could cross the ocean right along these highways. Maybe even above them. But what would be the point? Unless I want to get rid of this train track that goes straight through my city, which I might do. That could be a goal. And then reroute this connection to over here might be the plan. Because that is an eyesore in the center of my city. So I'm just going to continue with this and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I gotta say that I'm really impressed with how this looks. The natural like earthworks of this train tracks going over the highway with the move it mod actually looks really impressive. Uh, I don't like the little artifacting of the shadows or whatever that is. Um, I've noticed that happens sometimes when you move the world unnaturally. Hopefully if I load and unload the save, maybe next episode will be gone. I mean, you can't really see it unless you zoom in and you look at it from that specific highway, but I like how that goes. But I got rid of that connection there so I can get rid of the rest of this. And we might be able to do something, but uh, keep going at it, guys.
All right, that's a bit janky, but it might work. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's an interesting tunnel, but we're just gonna go with it. Uh, how about this? No, we're gonna see if we can move this road a bit. Where's the node? Page up. Can we fix this? That's interesting. Kind of like a natural cavern and more of that artifact thing or whatever, but we'll go with it. Just see if we can push this down just a bit. There we go. So that kind of works. Oh, we got this. Can we get a node? Any node? That could use a pillar there, but we'll call it good. So we have our massive train about. Their entire city on the outside. The only connection we currently have is this little farming thing and this one passenger. We got uneducated tourists. So we've had 10 people want to visit the farming district. Now we could use another internal city connection. Um, and we can delete this. All right, so people no longer live on the wrong side of the tracks. Um. We're gonna have some issues with having an in and an out on this cargo thing, I think. Um, the in isn't so difficult. You can just do this to skip through our city, or we can go above ground, let's do that. Because it's only Industrial district, it doesn't matter how it looks. So let's page up a bunch. And I currently have Anarchy on. Let's turn that off just to try to keep it as realistic as possible most of the time. And, uh,. Can we avoid all the cargo? Ferry stops, there we go. So, we need to have the little Y thing so it can go both directions. There we go. So this is connected. Like I said, I would love for it to not have to backtrack itself, but I don't see how that is possible I mean, even if I have the roundabout thing, I don't think it'll use it unless I make the tracks one way. That is an option. We'll look into it. Okay, so let's go back to our good old friend, the Anarchy. Don't need to be quite so high no more. All right, so that's a bad place. If it's connected there, they will. Get stuck. There we go. So we need to switch these to one way in and of course they're all going the wrong way I don't know why they want to go out first right so these go in let's 
come out. Ideally, if this could go the other direction, somewhere else, it'd be fine. So, okay, so if you drag it, holding it down, it seems to go the right direction. So this cargo thing should still technically work. I mean, there's a little cross over here, which might be a bit of a pain. All those people drove away from the cargo thing. Let's make sure it works. A train came in. Train goes out. Train goes out from loaded. Okay. This crossover might kill me, but not too bad. Pretty big intersection, so even if there's more than enough lane for a train, so if there's a backup, it shouldn't be too bad. Trains currently can go from here to there, so I think they are. So we're going good. Um, we could use some passengers. We have some space. Now, where do we want this? If we do it right here. It is fairly close to the ferry system. Do we want it on the highway, though? I don't think it really matters with passengers. We'll put a road. And just do that. Should be fine. Slope is too steep, huh? The bane of this game. Not sure why it's not. Oh, I'm not on. Match, I thought I was. I was on. Okay, why does that say... There we go. I don't know why it wasn't matching it. Alright. And then just to make this a little bit more friendly... Um, control B, I believe it was. There we go. So they don't have to cross this street. This might be able to walk across there to go from there to there. Just so I don't have to cross this street. Can I get rid of this, please? Control B again, maybe? There we go. Ah, chirper. Go away. I need the mod to get rid of the chirper. So we got that. People are crossing the streets without having to cross the street. And we got one of these stupid bushes. I try to get rid of them every time I see them, but they're there everywhere. So now, we just need to connect this somehow. And this is going to cost so much money, by the way. This train system is probably costing me millions. Um, how to connect this? Do we want to use the same line as the, the cargo? I highly doubt it because it's super busy. So we, we're going to connect to the same outer line. But I think... Anarchy, yes, let's turn that off. And then we want to go the other way. Hopefully this doesn't get backed up for these junctions being so close, but I wanted to keep the cargo and the passengers on separate things. I mean, not the main outer line, but at least within the city, actually. All right, so... Debating if we want the whole roundabout things for this too. I don't think so. The passengers won't be nearly as popular. Um, so this allows inner city trains. We're going to turn it off down here. Let 
Actually, let's leave it all on. Who cares? Um, but we will set a quick train line. I mean, it's a ridiculous thing. But why not? We're just going to make sure it works. And then we'll have one massively around the city later. And it looks like somebody actually rode our train over here. So we have nine people come out of there. 135, so that's much popular than the little farming area. And I guess we'll make a little overpassy thing here. I just love those. It's so easy. I mean, it they look weird often, even with an anarchy or anything. But driving these drawing these out on your own is such a pain. Okay, so let's see if we can follow this. Let's see what we got. Not too many people, so we could probably, for now, just turn this down to one train. Because, honestly, we haven't really made a good connection. So, hey guys, I finished uh, the building. I'm not quite sure how this is all going to get together, because I, I was going to show it all, but it was taking way too long, even sped up. So, we continued the road. We finished off, uh, I think on the last recordings, we put in this passenger tr or cargo train passenger station here. And then a cargo station was already here, but we connected it up to this route over here. And then we still have the cargo and the passenger in the farmland area. Well, I also went... Okay, that's just the way... I was just like, what's this train ride here for? But that's that loop there. Okay. But then we went up here. I continued the line, obviously. You know, we drew the whole circle or whatever you want to call this and I put a cargo train over here well that's a passenger train so everybody can get to and from work um, it's not showing anybody on the last passenger list but it is getting used we'll look at the passing lines later and then I put a cargo over here it does get used not terribly a large amount all things considered Considering this is my first industry area, for whatever reason, a lot of them still like to drive down to this harbor, or even this fish place will drive all the way up to here. So I don't know what it is. They just drive all over the place. Um, nobody really uses this whole entire left side of this track. If we get the vanilla roots thing, tons of people use this highway, by the way. I mean, I'm not quite sure why. It's like the longest way around possible if you want to get out of the city, but whatever. But if we click on these train tracks, if I can, nobody at all uses them. Not until we get to down here. Oops. There we go. So people do come in and out there. In and out there. As you can see, the trucks and all that driving from there obviously everybody uses this and if we go in to the train lines it says 62 people that's what it says anyway but generally we get about 50 to 40 this one just got picked up um you know this one's getting up to 100 now generally speaking it seems like the most popular stop is the farm to the area over here next to all the houses i do have the line go all the way over to here for now um and it does pass through and connect again to this underground train line that goes underneath our industry area this splits off over here but nobody goes over here yet because there's nothing over here yet i think we're gonna have to expand over here i'm not sure if we want to do down here or over here uh for more residential obviously because it seems to be the demand we have the most of but despite all these trains despite the budget being like $14 million or whatever. Um, no, there we go. 17 now. Uh, we're still not going broke. Thank God for the industries being really good. This is not making too much 6,000. This is making 18,000. 
and then I think the yeah the the unique factories are separate from that right yeah five thousand there so not too bad um this seems to be a little bit short on animal products I think it's because I don't have an animal products barn right nearby but yeah we're all running good and traffic is actually really good uh, the trains are not backing up despite some rather wonky trains traffic is in the 80s despite some busyness and it actually seemed to help this whole circle was red earlier so obviously having a thing there and a passenger over here has helped that some it's still a single lane road with the really wonky intersections and then a circle because this was my first area and i didn't really care um you know you can't do a whole lot early in the game you just have to smash as much down as you can but yeah guys i think this will be just a guy signing off we have finished our train renovation in honor of the biffa episode um obviously a lot of it is pointless right now all this stuff around the outside on this side because nobody goes over there but we did get rid of the giant thing in the middle at least and that has actually opened up some space to possibly expand or build with the only downside being the highway in the middle which is actually still pretty busy but yeah guys this will be just a guy signing off catch you guys later bye